Welcome plungers. And thanks for tapping in. Now I just got to say it. Forza is my favorite game of all time. And I have to face it. I struggled with this decision too. With games like Fallout 4, GTA, and Skyrim literally erasing months from my life in the real world. A pale in comparison to Forza Horizon 5. I have about 2,000 hours currently. That's over 80 days. As the name of the channel suggests, I like games that offer a level of immersion that others don't. Worlds I can live and grow in. While those aforementioned games satisfied that criteria in ways others could not, they eventually hit a ceiling or a threshold of fun where I couldn't see a point to logging on that could tempt me to endure the impending monotony I was certain to face after the title screen. Only after extended breaks from these games am I able to get myself wrapped up in the lore and gameplay of these titles I love again. These among many others. Forza sets itself apart in that regard. I'm not suggesting that there is no monotony. What game doesn't have some elements of grinding that are ultimately designed to piss you off so much you want to pull out your debit card and make whatever microtransaction it takes to get an edge? Forza has some grindiness, but I really like the way it's all laid out. The microtransactions are cosmetic at the most because they're simply car packs that give a slightly wider variety to the cars you can drive but no advantage over cars that are already included. And there are no shortage of cars, as this is the game with the second most licensed vehicles after GT7, and they're adding more weekly. There is enough variety, in my humble opinion, to break up whatever redundancy there is. There are several types of races all fleshed out masterfully. Rally, which is set on dirt tracks, usually circuits, and more professional in nature than cross country. Which is, is self-explanatory. Taking advantage of the vast open world, sending you hurtling through many surface types. Street, which is giving Midnight Club. And Road Races, which are similar to Street with more of a track style like Le Mans. On top of those, you have Drag, Drift, and Stunt Challenges. While it didn't catch on as well as it should have, the game also has an online MMO element that's actually pretty good. And in my experience, the community is far less toxic than other games. In fact, people are more than willing to share tips and tricks in most forums and groups I'm a member of. And nothing is better than finding a random, brand new homie and start following each other around RP style. Or getting a group of friends and doing the same. Or helping a friend or even a rando beat seasonal challenges and earn RP or XP. There are issues with connecting and staying connected, but overall, I had a lot of fun driving around with humans. Don't get me started on the graphics either. I'm not as nitpicky in mine as some are in their comparisons to other games. To me, the differences are nominal and the games all look amazing. I love the physics. It's arcade enough to still be engaging and simulation enough to be challenging and have tangible effects on gameplay. This brings me to the tuning. Tuning makes a huge difference in the performance of the vehicles, and this adds a learning curve to the game. For example, some of the cars I started out with that I thought I would like, but didn't, the reason turned out being I couldn't quite tune them properly at the time. When revisiting them with the new information, I ended up making some of them my very best performing cars. Customization. While there is little to none for your character beyond the outfits you can don, the cars are a different story. While you're locked into the choices of what cars they decide to give body kits and different aero packages to, the things you can do to the paint is amazing. You want Starry Night on your car? If you take your time and figure it out, you can make it happen. The Simpsons, SpongeBob, Rick and Morty? No problem. I just wish there were more or any options for interior customization. Fingers crossed for FH6. The customization doesn't end at car design though and really gets intense when you get to track design. What other game lets you build your own track from the ground up with hundreds of assets and props? You can theoretically build an existing track to scale. Laguna Seca perhaps? A couple weeks ago there was a track for the Events Lab Seasonal Challenge that was a dystopian, post-apocalyptic, beautiful nightmare. 
I saw some people complaining about it, probably because it took some skills to reconnoiter and you couldn't go very fast. But I found it to be a marvel of creativeness and a salute to Turn 10 for making it possible. Some of the user-made tracks are amazing and well worth checking out. I've made some of my own as well. Chase Muga is my designer name. This game also taps into the car culture in a way I haven't experienced with other games. Whether it's the Hoonigan or Donut Media collabs, or the Fast and the Furious car pack, this game like no other lets you tap into immersion for other iconic car-related franchises. You could be the baby driver. You could be gone in 60 seconds. You can be in the Fast and the Furious. If you're an old head like me, the Dukes of Hazard, or dare I say, Knight Rider, I haven't felt any burnout for this game yet. I got it on launch day. Along with the Xbox Series X, I bought just to play this game. So basically, Forza Horizon 5 cost me over $600. This is what I play when I'm taking a break from other games, but this is never a game I need a break from. This is a game I need. It is catharsis to switch on my system, grab my controller, jump into McLaren, and tear around for a while with a huge smile on my face the whole time. Sincerely, a Forza stand. <laughs>